Welcome, 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 family. This is Queen here. I can give it another general message for the collective. Remember that energy is fluid. It could be either masculine or feminine. So reverse the roles when necessary. And so is time. Time is fluid. This could be past, present, or future energy. And remember, most of all, the only take we resonate and leave the rest. With that being said, we're going to get right into the message. On behalf of the Divine Spirit, please and thank you. For the cosmic gods and goddesses. What is it that they need to know? They need to be aware of spirit. Please and thank you. Let's hear divine spirit. For the collective, what is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to know? Thanks for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. I see you. I appreciate you. I thank you to all my loyal subscribers. Hey, I, I send a special thanks out to you guys for the support. Um, wow. I just really appreciate you guys, and I love you all so much. Okay, we have humor. We have loneliness. We have success. And we have pride. So, hmm. Okay. Somebody thinks this, the energy I'm getting here collective is that somebody thinks it's funny that someone's in a lonely space right now. That somebody's feeling unloved, okay? And um, this person that they're doing this to or that they're laughing at or finding it humorous that this person is by themselves, they don't realize how powerful this per person really is um, spiritually in their self-confidence, okay? And the love that this person has to share is what I'm hearing. Okay, this person may still be with this person, okay, hanging on by a thin thread in this relationship here. And I'm getting relationship here, okay. But somebody thinks it's funny. Maybe they stepped out on this person or something here because we have friendship in the reverse. Yeah, I'm getting that. This person may have stepped outside of the relationship and cheated with a third party. Okay, they thought it was funny to make this person feel unhappy um, for some reason here. Yeah, they made their person believe that they would be there with them for a lifetime. Like, like their original relationship. Or commitment with one another would never change. But it's been unsuccessful um, in lasting the test of time is what I'm getting here. And uh, somebody's still seeing the brighter side of the relationship. Uh, while the other party is seeing a lot of humor. And in, in how it's become, um, well, I don't want to say destructive, but how it has, you know kind of falling apart is what I'm getting here. Okay? Simply because they have their eyes set on someone else is what I'm getting here. But Spirit said they're only setting themselves up for a failure here. Okay? Whoever this person is that thinks it's funny to leave someone in a lonely space, to think that they had something with them and Pretending to be in someone's life, pretending to love someone, but all the while giving their love and attention to someone else is what I'm getting here. Wow. Wow. You collective or this person is giving love, all the love they have to this connection while the other person is finding it 
funny as hell to uh, make this person continue to believe that they're in a relationship with them, but they're constantly in a relationship with somebody else here. The spirit said, mm, this is not funny. This is not funny. This person is going to realize they made a big mistake by doing this um, to this person. Okay? Spirit. Yeah, they're going to learn for, for, for their mistakes. Okay? Because right now they're reluctant to change here. Okay? And this is why they're not going to get any peace. Okay? Wow. Spirit is not accepting what this person is doing to this other person here. Because they just keep doing it and they won't stop. Trying to lower this person's self-esteem here. And now they've been placed under judgment. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. Wow. What do we have here, Spirit? Please clarify for the collective, please. And thank you. If somebody thinks it's funny to have somebody else in a third party here. To make them think that they love them the same way... Um, that the other person loves them and they really don't they have actually stepped outside of their, the relationship and actually hooked up with someone else okay and this has left um you collective are feeling pretty lonely here wow wow this person goes around telling people that you guys are not together that you guys are just friends yeah, and they get a kick out of it, and I'm getting sort of their friends. I get a kick out of that, okay? But every every everything because you were doing the right thing, collective. Everything this person has done to you, okay? Wow, spirit is gonna make them learn from their mistakes here. This person is if you're living with this person, this person is a living enemy. Wow. What's here to dance here? Please and thank you. They think it's funny to leave you feeling lonely, to go out telling people that you guys are just friends, that your relationship didn't work out. Oh, it was a total failure. I let them go, you know. Mm. But really, this person really, really couldn't get on your level because you were real. And your feelings were real. Your love was real. Okay. This person had to try to belittle you in some kind of way. With the five of cups here. They try to belittle you in some um, some type of way to try to put you down. Okay, to try to put you down. So they could make themselves look like they was, you know, damn, had all the bases covered or something. Or they was better than you or something like that. This is your person that felt like they was in competition with you. Wow. They had to be um, the center of attention, you know. Wow. They turned their back on you. That's what I'm getting here. What else is here, Spirit? Please clarify for the collective. We have the Three of Wands. Okay. Wow. Spirit said they didn't, they didn't uh, think this whole thing through here. Because they were too busy laughing at the situation or trying to get people to laugh at you. Okay? Wow. Because they were they were simply the loser and you were winning. And they had to belittle you in some, some type of way. But, wow. Something's going to be stopped here. Okay, with the chariot in here in the reverse. Something's going to be stopped. Their movement is going to be stopped. Okay. Things are gonna gonna reverse back to this person, okay? Mm. Things are gonna reverse back to this person, okay? Well, we have the ten of wands here in the reverse, and we have the nine of wands in the reverse. So everything this person set out to do to you, wow. 
to make you unhappy. We have the four of wands too to in the reverse to make you unhappy, to make you know you feel unhappy at home in this relationship or in this commitment. Wow. This person is really going to, um, they're going to regret it. Wow. Where things could have been, you know, okay with you too. Okay, they made it to where I mean, they really messed everything up. Everything for them is going to go in reverse. Like I said, um, they wanted you to be unhappy. Okay. Wow. They wanted you to be unhappy. They wanted you to feel unhappy in the relationship. They wanted to try to make a fool out of you or something here. Okay. <clears throat> but like I said, everything that they did is going in reverse. Like, they wanted people to laugh at you. Now they're going to be laughed at. They wanted you to feel lonely. Now they're going to feel lonely. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. We have the tennis sports in the reverse as well. I see 10, 10. Okay, there's a new beginning coming in for you, Collective. Yeah, this person is no longer going to be able to hurt you or backstab you or anything like that. Here, um, everything is, is going back to them. It's being reversed back to them. Okay, where they didn't want you to be successful. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Where they didn't want you to be successful, they're going to be unsuccessful. Where they wanted you to fail. They're going to fail and you're going to prevail. You're going to succeed. They're going to be unsuccessful. You're going to be uh, happy and fulfilled. They're going to be lonely. You're going to be laughing. They're going to be sad. You're going to be with somebody and they're going to be lonely by themselves. Un unwillingly, though. Okay? They didn't want you to have any friends. They're going to be friendless. Wow. <laughs> they wanted people to be envious of them and their status, but everybody's going to wish they could be you. Wow. Collective. What's your divine spirit? Please and thank you. This is somebody that always wanted to be out front and center. I was always showing out, you know, um, I don't have to be noticed, have to be seen, you know. Maybe you thought about walking away from this person or walking away from this relationship, you know, because of the way this person treated you here. Yeah, rising above the fray. Okay. Yeah, this you, you see things more clearly now, okay. You see things from a distance. You, just, you, you looked into the future, what this would look like um, for you, but you stood the test of time with this person here. Okay, the number 18 could be significant. The number 9 could be your birthday. Okay. Um, could be a, just a special day for you. Um, but yeah, you open your eyes to something. You became aware um, of something this person was doing. Okay. Well, this person is going to be stuck where they wanted you stuck. Every, everything they wanted for you is going to be reversed to them. Wow, that's what I'm getting here. They wanted to like embarrass you, you know, have people laugh at you while they laughed at you too, you know. Wow. They, I mean, I'm, I'm getting a, a lot of them, they just did because they wanted to make you look stupid, but they were the stupid ones. Okay, they were actually making themselves look stupid. They were so busy trying to clown on you to make you look unworthy or, you know, like you were a problem, like you were just... I don't know. I don't know. They, this, this person didn't, didn't, didn't think too too highly of you here. What's going on here, sweet? Please and thank you. Yeah. The uh, will of the wisp here. Okay, you're like a treasure. A hidden treasure. And this person's about to realize that. Okay. Wow. Hmm. You just sitting back. This person tried to, the more this person tried to hold you back or put you back behind the shadows or make sure people didn't look at you. And if they did see you, they would have reasons to laugh at you. But like I'm saying, your person was cheating. Okay. And, and they even had 
the third party laughing at you too. And your friends, they had them laughing at you. But it was just because you had a true, genuine love for this person. And you thought that the relationship was going to be successful. Okay, you thought this person would never leave you or leave you feeling lonely. You know what I mean? Wow. Divine film. Okay. You thought this person would never leave you lonely. The number six could be significant. You know, or do you like this? Okay, but you still try to hang in there with them because you thought they was just, you know, putting on an act or something. But after a while, you know, it started seeming so real. You start opening your eyes and you start seeing some things. And so this person was really trying to dampen your shine. Um, you actually outshine your person here. And this is why they continuously tried to put you down. Oh, dang. They wanted to, like, keep you hidden in the dark. This is probably the type of person that want, wanted you to stay in the house all the time. They didn't want you to wear any, um, you know, clothes that would draw any attention to anybody, you know. They probably didn't care if you had your hair done or your nails done or, you know, anything like that. Or they didn't care about how you looked. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if they would rather you been unkempt. You know, so nobody would be attracted to you, be it masculine or feminine energy here, okay? They probably didn't have washed the clothes or have the clothes ready. Um, if they were, you know, responsible for doing laundry or dry cleaning or something like that. They may have taken their things, but I always forgot yours or something like that here. Wow. What else is your spirit? Hmm. We got radical acceptance here. Okay. Wow. So you accepted that that you you see this change coming. Okay. We got the number two here, it could be significant. Okay. You um matter of fact I see sixty two sixty two. But you accepted this change. This change your heart. Or you had to change your heart about this person here. Okay. Wow. Then we have the wailing tree. Okay. You may have stayed with this person because of... You, you, may, you may have children with this person. Okay. Or you may have, you know, roots with this person. You may have thought things were grounded with this person. And you kept giving this person chance after chance after chance. That, you know, you just thought it became a norm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, maybe this is the way things are supposed to be. Okay? And something wasn't right. It was like this person was, like, trying to duck you off or hide you off or make it seem like you didn't exist in their life here. Something like that here. Okay? But you you got over something. You got over something. You, you, you were able to pull yourself together here. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Wow. I see 1010 10 again. Yeah. The person you're dealing with is suffering from like spiritual or narcolepsy or something like that here. Okay. Wow. And <clears throat> they don't see what lies ahead for them with um, Winter's Dream here. They don't see what lies ahead for them. Wow. Hmm. What's on the bottom of the stack here? Oh, well, nothing. This is not flipped over. Hmm. It says a possibility for a union here. So you may have somebody new coming in once you get away from this person and move away from this person here. Okay, you may meet um, someone else here that's a much better fit for you here. Okay, somebody, you know, that's much more mindful, that's much more respectful here. Okay, wow. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's much more... Um, much more of a fit for you. Let's see. Somebody that will treat you with the utmost respect here. Was this person um thought it was a joke? 
<clears throat> thought you were a joke and thought they could keep playing with your emotions, playing with your feelings. You know, they had their friends and family laughing at you. They, you know, constantly do things to you to, you know, to undermine you, to undercut you, to, you know, make you feel like you were, were nothing, like you were useless. Like, you, you were just there. They kept you hidden, like some behind-the-scenes shit. And they would tell people, well, yeah, they think I'm with them, but I ain't with them. I ain't never home. I ain't never around. You know, I don't know how they can still think I'm with them. I don't pay them no attention. But, you know, they probably live with you. They probably eat your food. You know what I'm saying? They, wow. What's your spirit? What's this person up to? What's my collective need to know? What do they need to know? But you are sending. You coming about this mess. Okay. You come out, you, you put some stuff together. Yeah. We have house in the reverse here. You coming up out this mess, honey. <clears throat> we have children. You still you still can walk away from this situation. Okay. You can still you could have a newborn. Okay. And maybe some of you, that's why you was just, you know, hanging on, even though this person was just treating you like you didn't even exist. It's what I'm getting here. Okay. They probably never were home. You may have had, you know, a small child or something. They weren't there to help. You know, this person did everything to show people how much they didn't care about you. And they found it funny. What's your experience? Yeah, this person is a coward. This person is a coward. This person is scared, scared to face their own fears. I feel like they had to do all this to, to, to up, make themselves look like they upgraded or, or, or something, because they feel intimidated by you. They are actually intimidated by you. They're intimidated by your strength, by your courage, by your tenacity, by your perseverance. This person is intimidated by you. This is why they do all these things to, to try to make you look bad or make you look like you're stupid or something here. Okay? Wow. Hmm. There may be a brief illness for somebody here. I'm getting a brief illness here. Or either this person has been in the military. Or could have been in the military. Could could have been, um, you know, like <clears throat> worked in the police force or something like that. Being Been in law enforcement or something like that. Okay. This person was going around acting like they were shamed to be with you. Collective. Okay. But there may be a brief illness um, for this person here. If they're not careful, okay? Because Spirit said they're doing too much, okay? Wow. This person, well, mm, 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 may have a near-death experience here. Mm. Whoa. They may, um, you guys may have just purchased a home or they may have purchased a home. Maybe you know about this new home. Maybe that you don't. Well, I know if you if you guys live together, this person never at home. But uh, spirit might set this person down. Okay, they might have a some type of near death experience here. Hmm. Why they're on a business trip or um, why they're traveling or uh uh. This is here, spirit. Why they are planning on going somewhere or telling you that they're going somewhere that they're, they're <coughs> excuse me out on business, you know, leaving you by yourself and going out living a double life is what I'm getting a double life. Wow, what's your spirit? Mm hmm. These third parties, these celebrations. The happy times is over for your person for doing you this way. 
And especially if you were with child and they did this and they thought this was funny. Spirit was watching the whole time. How they was making it seem like they was, you know, doing everything for you um, that they were supposed to be doing or being there for you, supporting you emotionally, you know, um, financially, you know, whatever the case may have been. But they were not. I'm still getting this person made. They experience a brief illness, a near-death experience, or something like that. Possibly while they're traveling. Okay, possibly at a party or something here. Wow. Yeah. Some 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 type of so surprises here. This person may even catch something in you know. Or may have caused something while they were out partying. <clears throat> Left you at home, you know, either by yourself or with the child or the children or something like that. And they were telling you that they were going out working or going out for business or something like that. But they were going out partying, you know, being in third parties, having a good time, you know. Wow. And this is why this person may end up sick because they might catch something. They were so anxious about it, okay? And this might catch this person by surprise, too. Whatever they catch, okay? Wow. That may even be have to be picked up by ambulance here. Some type of ambulance service here. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I'm picking up. This could even be somebody in the military. You may have a child where your person was in the military, but your person was not dedicated to you. I mean, they may have married you um, or got, you know, got with you some kind of way to get some kind of benefits out the military while they were in there or something like that. And they were just, maybe if somebody asked them about you, um, collective, they put you down and, you know, said, I was just with this person because X, Y, Z. And they would start laughing and think it was a joke. You know. Wow. They barely sent you any money because they were spending their money on these damn third parties and shit. This person may may have a brief illness here. Or near, near death experience. If they're in the military. Something like that here. Not if they're if they are in law enforcement. Same same thing goes for them. Yeah, we have, you know, the wife here, the wife here might be, yeah, this person did leave you at home with the child or the children, hmm, yeah, they may have went away, they could be in the, um, the Navy or some branch of the military, but I'm picking up the Navy or the Marines. <clears throat> or they could have been in the military and then they got into law enforcement here. Wow. But they didn't appreciate you, wherever you are. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, they were out <clears throat> partying, cheating, third parties, picking up dates. One night stands. They t told people that you guys didn't live together. Probably told them that they didn't have any children. <clears throat> that they didn't have any children. Everything they did to to um, demoralize you, dehumanize you, they did it. They told you you weren't anything, you know, but all that shit's about to change. Um, Spirit said, oh, that's about to change here. Wow. You're always there for this person, but you won't you you won't be there for them how much longer is what spirit is saying here. You probably waited on this person hand and fucking foot here is what I'm getting here. With their disloyal ass, okay? Because they always had somebody waiting on the side. And they was, you know, showing other people they love them instead of you. Especially this karmic ass piece of shit. Okay. This karmic ass piece of shit. That's what they are. Okay, that they thought was the real deal. Okay, but they didn't have no loyalty for their ass. Okay, while you were sitting at home, 
hoping and waiting that they, that they would show up and pay you some damn attention, you know, because you are the one to end up marrying them or being, you know, was in a commitment with them or whatever here, okay? You did believe in if you were married until death do us apart here. Now, this person going to be made to think about what they did to you because they're being put under spiritual judgment here for what they've done to you is what I'm getting here. And that's all they're going to be able to think about is how they did you wrong. A whole list of things of how they did you wrong, how they laughed at you, how they didn't want you to succeed, how they, you know, tried to keep you hidden, how they told people they weren't with you. You know, they constantly laughed at you. Well, just they, they think I'm with them. I ain't with them. I'm over here with so-and-so. You know, I got me three or four of them on the side. da 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 da, -da. Yeah, they thought the shit was funny. Shit, they're going to need some prayer. They're going to be praying, okay? <laughs> the spirit show going to deliver the message here. This person set their own trap up for themselves here. For messing with these third-party karmics here, okay? When they had a sweet person at home, a beautiful person at home, okay? A beautiful woman at home, a beautiful man at home. They set, they, they set up for the, the uh, other person or other people here, okay? Shit. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, you would have stayed with this person until you was old and gray. You got dreams and aspirations. Spirit said, follow your dreams, okay? Follow your dreams, whoever you are. If you haven't separated from this person, when you become aware of what they're doing, you, you more likely will. Okay, it's going to make you angry, okay? And things may seem rather challenging for you. But, you know, this person's just out false flag like they did everything for you, you know. But they're going to find themselves at the crossroad, okay? Well, at the crossroads, okay? Hmm. You're going to be receiving some good news. Receiving some good news here. Okay, right now he's probably experiencing a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety behind this shit here. Not knowing which way to go, but you know... Because of the way this person treated you, it might have, you know, like really messed with your self-esteem. Okay, but you're going to be all right. Okay. Wow. You're going to be just fine. Okay. One thing for sure and two for certain is that you love yourself. I keep hearing, I love, I love, I love myself. Yeah. Your angel guides are with you. Okay. While your person was out false flagging, acting like they, you know, was all that laughing at you. Wow. Yeah. This person that meant you harm the whole entire time. Didn't give two shits about your feelings, okay? They were always too busy um, to recognize that you were there, okay? Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Didn't show you any love. Half the time they didn't even have sex with you. And for some of y'all, they weren't even paying the fucking bills. Because you had to talk to the landlord. Wow. Mm. You don't want to have to get all the bad news, you know, and, and, and try to catch up with your person to tell them about what was going on with the home or with the children if you have children here. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This person uh going to suffer some consequences because of their negative behavior. Their negative thoughts, okay? Something about a thief here, okay? Mm. A planning to leave you. Maybe you're planning to leave this person, okay? Oh, well. Maybe if they do, um, they may be accused of being a thief. Your person for stealing on a job or something like that here. Well, hmm. They could possibly even be going to jail. I don't know what this person was. There's some kind of consequences for their actions here. I keep saying they're going to face some consequences here about something here. Okay, if we're planning to leave you here. Okay. Well, and maybe when, when they do, you're going to be like, you deserve it. You deserve it. You may still love this person, but you're going to tell them you deserve it. And yeah. And once if they do end up in, in jail, they're gonna be so let me explain. Let, let me explain. No, why you didn't pay the bills, why you wasn't here to support me. That's what you're gonna be asking them, okay? Well, you pretended like you wasn't curious. But you were about what your person was doing and why they were doing you like that. 
here. Well, it said dropped on feels left out. So you may have felt like you were being left out. Okay, because this person wasn't doing too much talking to you. They were doing more talking about you than they were doing talking to you here. Okay, but shit, shit's about to change directions, all right? This person thought they was planning on leaving you, but it looks like more like you're going to be leaving their asses, okay? Yeah, because they only used you. Okay, wow. And for you, um, divine masculines, if this, this feminine energy is, did this to you, this this karmic feminine did this to you, that's not your baby, okay? Mm. Yeah, this person may be going to jail. Okay. They're taking the jail while they're sick, too, is what I'm getting here for whatever they did. Okay. Wow. They don't want to talk about what they did. But your intuition told you something. What's going on? Okay. Spirit said, write your book. Is your time here? Okay. Wow. You're intuitive. You've been through a lot, whoever you are. You put up with a lot from this person. Wow. And because of your person, you got a lot of haters. See? You got a lot of people disliking you for no reason. Okay. You weren't even aware of that because you were so quiet. Okay. While well, all these injustices were being done towards you. You know, by your person and this group of people here. They constantly attacked you, whether you were around them or not. You know, wow. A bunch of two-faced people. I'm hearing, you know, they would ask questions about you. <laughs> and your person would just only talk to them and all of them would talk like they were just fucking haters. Like, wow. That only made you love yourself more. Okay, what else is your spirit? Yeah, this person did have a hidden agenda for you. Cheating with a much younger car. Cheating with a much younger karmic here. Okay, so your person was cheating with a, a much younger karmic here. Okay, some feminine energy here. Something about some poison here. Shit. They might even poison uh, your person. Wow. For fucking around when they find out about you because they tried to hide you in the closet like you didn't exist here, but that shit's about to be revealed here, okay? Shit, not just to the not to this karmic um feminine energy here, but to this group of people that your person used to talk about you around too, okay? They was a bunch of weak motherfuckers. That's what Spirit said. Wow, a bunch of fucking haters. Mm hmm. What else is here? Spirit, tell us more. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was asking questions about you. Yeah. They may have treated you like you as a sex slave here. Okay. I'm getting divine film, but you were worried that, you know, you know, your person wasn't noncommittal and they wasn't, you know, uh, really emotionally attached to you or something like that. Okay. You were feeling stuck here. Okay. You feel like they would eventually leave you, okay? Wow. They would. They didn't even. They pretended. They acted like they didn't even like the sex here. Wow. I'm getting that you have very little friends here. Very few friends. What else is here, spirit? Oh, this third party interference, you know, may have worn you down here, but you, you know. You're going to be able to verify it, okay? This third-party interference, okay? And you're going to go from your lessons to your blessings here. That's what Spirit said here. Wow. For some of you, you don't live close to your family, so you do feel lonely here, okay? Because, wow, you may have moved away, okay? Something about arriving soon. Something's going to be arriving soon. What's here, Spirit? What's here for the collective? Wow. Hmm. What's here, spirit? Wow. 
somebody's going to be puzzled or confused about something here. Wow. Uh, maybe some test results. And this person keeps their appointments here. They're going to find out that they fished for something and caught the wrong damn thing is what I'm getting here. Wow. Anything else here, Spirit? This person did this just to belittle you. Damn, they could have a damn heartache or a stroke. Okay. Uh, after trying to have an argument with you, trying to tell you to be quiet about you speaking some type of truth here. Okay. About them cheating. Okay. Wow. Well, you're curious. You know your person is not committal here. You could have been nasty and did some things to your person, but you don't have it in your heart to be a nasty person. That's what I'm getting here. Anything else here? Well. Yeah, your person may be having nightmares, okay? And they don't even know why. But spirit is here for cheating on you. They about to have some nightmares. You about to find out something about their past too. Wow. For some of you, this person, like I said, they barely come home and they barely communicate with you. Okay, no contact, no communication. One more spirit. I'm busy out there with them third parties and them energy vampires. Okay. Mm-hmm. One more spirit could be a Virgo. Okay, that has these bad intentions. Could be a any sign. But I'm getting this person. Mm. Wow, their intentions were not good towards you. Yeah, you simply want someone who loves you for you here. Okay. Maybe this person argued, argued with you a lot and just told you to be quiet or you just chose to be quiet and not say nothing. Wow. Yeah, this person was just like very, very argumentative with you. Okay, you're taking your power back. It says, yeah, in the next few weeks, I've seen that you'll be taking your power back. Yeah, I thought I'd seen it. You'll be taking your power back from this person mistreating you here. Mm. A two faced fruit don't have your back, and whoever, whoever they are, should they want your person too? Okay, they always have something negative to say too, Spirit said. Okay, negative thoughts about you, you know. Wow, person always wants to come in arguing and shit. Some of y'all experienced domestic violence here. That shit wasn't funny, okay? But your person that did this to you is about to experience a downfall here. Okay, somebody around them talks too much or they talk too much. And your ancestors is tired of hearing the shit and seeing the shit. Um, they tired of hearing it and seeing it. Okay, they already putting your person in spiritual jail here, okay? This person thought that, you know, if you never saw what they were doing, if they kept you in the house all the time, you wouldn't have no proof that they was doing shit out here. Okay, um, like having you in third parties and shit because you were in the house all the time. Okay, wow, could be a Leo, could be any sign. There's some changes coming here, could be a Pisces, okay, or a Leo. You know, if you need to, spirit said, ask for help. Okay, even if it's from your mom. Okay, for some of you, like, no, I won't ask my mama. Yeah. For some of you, go ahead and ask your mom for help if, if you need help. Okay. Mm. Truth is here. The Spirit said everything they said in this reading was the truth here. Okay. But whatever you've been wishing for is going to be fulfilled. Okay. It's going to be fulfilled. What else is here, Spirit? Your person may end up sick. Okay.
Mm. Or in despair. Wow. I'm hearing when the, when the tables turn, they're going to be at their wits end. Wow. When the truth comes out, you're going to... Well, you're gonna get you're gonna get some information about what your person's been doing. It's gonna be handed to you. There's gonna be no denying it that they had you in this third party cheating and stuff. Yeah, they've been saving money when they could have been, you know, taking care of you. You you know, you wouldn't have to face a landlord or, or face bills or, you know, face any housing situations. Okay, if this person had to be taking care of business. Okay, but they wouldn't that's what come they about to experience the tower here. Mm. Yeah, this person gonna have to go to the doctor. They're gonna find out that they have something. That's 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 where their punishment gonna be. Wow. Mm hmm Yeah, this person's gonna be end up depressed, broke, sad, probably homeless. <clears throat> only have them same enemies to talk to if them enemies don't walk away from them because they ain't going to have shit to give them. Okay, they're not going to know what to do or which way to go. Spirit saying here, they're going to be hopeless here where they watch you celebrate. Okay, yeah, they're going to be made to watch you celebrate. They're going to be in deep sorrow for what they did to you. They're not going to have much to talk about to them friends anymore or whatever. They're not going to have much to say because Spirit said they, they, they took too much from you. Okay, wow. They took too much from you. That's what they did. <clears throat> What's the advice for the collective spirit person? Thank you. No communication coming in. Okay. About what's going on with your person here. They really gonna be standoffish and kind of quiet, especially they make, after they make this doctor's visit. What's your spirit? That you gonna get some kind of wish fulfillment, something that you've been praying for. You're gonna get here, okay? We got retreat here. Once you once you disconnect from this person, you gonna get your wish fulfillment. What else is here? You might have to wait on this person hand and foot no more like you the fucking may instead of the, you know, this person's uh, counterpart. Better have. Okay? They treated you more like the maid. Okay? And they had people laughing at you and they laughed at you too. With, with the others. Wow. What's your spirit? Yeah, you're going to leave this marriage here. You're going to just connect from this person here. That's the communication that's coming here from spirit. What else is here, spirit? Please and thank you. What else is here for the collective? Yeah, because this person is codependent upon you. They can do shit without you, but they made it seem like you can do shit without them. What else is here? You definitely gonna walk away from this person. Yeah. Because you'd always put them first. Put their feelings first instead of your own. Because this is the way they made you feel. By constantly putting you down. <clears throat> it's true that that's the truth. Wow. But your angel guides and your ancestors are here. Your spirit guides here, are here. Okay, this is going to leave this person uh, puzzled and complicated when you start getting your wish fulfillment here. Because you are. This is the communication that's coming in. Okay. Yeah, you're going to leave this person in the past, especially when you find out what they got at the doctor. They've been out here fucking around these third parties. You ain't going to want to leave this person no more. Spirit said that's the truth. What else is here, spirit? Divine timing is at work in your love life. 
Okay. So spirit said, just wait for it. You about to get your wish fulfillment. Okay, which is out of away from this person, a divorce from this person, and, and you know, just leaving this person behind. Okay. Yeah, spirit just wants you to keep an open mind. Okay. But sometimes people could talk talk down on people so much that they start feeling down. So, you know, it's a process. Building yourself back up. Okay. Being honest with yourself, knowing that you deserve better than, you know, the way that person was doing you, the way that person was treating you. You're so much better than that. I'm hearing that you're a jewel. Okay. Whoever you are, you're very precious. Be a masculine or feminine. Yeah. Some some type of truth you paid attention to. Some type of truth or you accepted the truth and you you paid attention to some red flags here. Okay. You caught on to what this person was doing. Okay. Are you gonna catch on to what they're doing here? Spirit said that's the truth here. Okay. You ain't going to want to be with this person no more. All right? Or go with this person nowhere or nothing. Not be seen with them, especially the way they put you down in front of other people. You're going to get as far away from this person as you can. And everybody you look at, you're going to be like, was you with them too? Was you with them too? Did you have them too? Did you have them too? Yeah. And you knew they were married and you still... Yeah, yeah okay. Well, you might even move out to state. Fuck out the country. I don't know, but you're going to move far away from this person. And this person is going to be low sick. Low sick. Physically and spiritually. Because they played too much. They, they, they found everything fucking funny. That's what Spirit said. They played too much. Now they got to pay the piper. Hmm. They ain't going to believe that you left them. They're going to be puzzled and confused. Hmm. Family, family issues is in the reverse. You don't want to. Mm -mm. If they weren't there for you and the children, or they weren't there for you, you just like simply like I'm out. What else is to the spirit? Yeah, because they was out flirting with everybody and shit. You don't want somebody that everybody had. Damn, you know, you know, <laughs> what do they call that? Secondhand shit. You know, with somebody you can't trust. You know, having somebody, everybody can put their hands on, everybody can touch. That's used goods. I don't know if you can call them goods. That's just used. That person's used to fuck up. You don't want that shit. You wasn't used up because you stayed in the house. Okay. But Spirit just wants you to know just because that person didn't treat you right, you know, um, it's, it's still as safe for you to love. Okay. It's safe for you to love, but not that person, though. You can love them and not be in love with them, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? Wow. The Spirit said you will be releasing your ex here. You'll be letting that person go. They're going to be sick, Spirit said, very soon, okay? Wow. You'll be expressing your love to somebody else who appreciates you is what I'm getting here. Wow. This person didn't do nothing but take from you. Mentally, physically, and spiritually. Take, 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 take. Find a message for you. Yeah, when you do meet this this person uh, very soon, once you let this ex go, okay. Well, give give a relationship a chance, okay. Don't look at it like it's gonna be like it was with the person that you're about to leave. The spirit is wanting you to give it a chance, okay. Well. Your feelings are, are worth uh, are real and worth exploring. Because like I said, you were good to this person in this relationship. I seen the number 33. That may mean something to somebody. But yeah, your soul made us out there. Okay. And you're going to find them once you free yourself. Okay. Well, your person's definitely placed under judgment for what they did. Okay. Their self-esteem. They try to bring yours down continuously and not want to, you know, be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? 
for not wanting you to have no peace in your life, for not wanting, you know, any changes to happen for you in your life in a positive way. They constantly were in denial, okay? <laughs> not afraid, ungrateful, not in regret, and not doing shit for you, and not caring about balancing things out, okay? <laughs> not believing that shit could happen to them. <laughs> Not asking you or God for forgiveness for what they did. Refusing to grow the fuck up. Refusing to grow up here. Okay. In this love union. In this commitment. Knowing they was guilty as hell. Destroying your happiness. Spirit is bringing an end to this shit. Okay. Because Spirit and ran out of patience with this person. For not deciding on how they want to treat you. And not having no empathy, okay? And not giving you anything, okay? And I always want to blame you for all their damn downfalls because they didn't show you no love, okay? Wow. Hmm. Spirit said they weren't worried before. <laughs> but when this shit happens to them, they're going to be in fear. They're going to be in fear. They ain't going to want you to give up on them then. They gave up on you. This person didn't have any discipline. This person didn't even know why they were with you. Fun and games, I'm hearing. Fun and games. That's why this person's about to experience some grief here. Okay, wow. Imagine that, Spirit said. Imagine that. <laughs> That's the truth. With honesty being here. That's the truth. Just know. You should have never trusted this person. Or a person like this in a relationship. From this, from this day forward. Okay, if a person treats you like that, they don't love you. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm going to end it right there. Until next time. Peace. Stay safe. Namaste.